Hello everyone, my name is Arun Kumar and I'm your instructor for the module on setting a secure password. In this module, our learning objectives will be, we will see what are the basics of a strong password, how you can choose a strong password and advise others on choosing a strong password, how one can protect the password. Well, when there are many passwords, it's, it becomes difficult to remember passwords. We will also see how things and tools can help you remember the password. We will also discuss some common attacks on password. So let's begin. Have you ever uh, asked yourself, ever wondered how many websites that you access require you to enter a username and password combination? And without entering these things to prove your identification, the website won't allow you to use its services. Well, on popular research, it was found out that on an average, a person uses at least five websites that require login credentials. And mind you, this is the average. Personally, I have about 15 websites where I supply username and password credentials to use their services. There are websites which are social networking sites. There are websites which are mail websites, which provide mailing services. There are websites for internet browsing. There are websites for e-commerce. There are websites for your online banking. So you see, there are so many websites in this whole World Wide Web, which require you to enter a username and a password. So password is necessary and passwords should be strong for you to be safe, to keep your personally identifiable information safe, your identity safe on web. Now let us see how the general guidelines, the basics of a secure password are. It is suggested that you use at least eight characters. In fact, the more characters, the better, but people will find anything more than about 15 characters difficult to remember. So minimum of eight characters is a secure password. It is also suggested that you use a random mixture of characters, uppercase and lowercase, numbers, punctuations, spaces and symbols. It is no wonder that you must not use a common word found in the dictionary. It is also suggested that you never use the same password twice. And why twice? Because when you use it twice or multiple times, the same password is prone to attack. And then you are compromised on all those places where have you used the same password. Moving on, there are a few things that I would like you to know to create a better, in fact, a secure password. Do not add a single digit or a symbol before or after a word. For example, if I write, if my password is uh, Apple, I shouldn't be writing Apple one or one Apple. That makes it a very easily guessable password. Also, please avoid doubling up a single word like Apple, Apple. It is not a great idea. In fact, some smart people will try to reverse this word, which I suggest do not do it. By reversing this word, it doesn't become any stronger. While setting up passwords, people think we will remove vowels and it will become a secure password, which is not. In fact, do not remove vowels. So, if, for example, if your password is people, which is a bad password, and you want to remove vowels from it, it becomes PPL. This is not suggested. This is not a great idea to have a secure password. The second last suggestion that I would like to give you is please avoid key sequences. Key sequences like Q W E R T Y, QWERTY, or A S T F. These things are key sequences on the keyboard, easily guessable. We should also not try to gobble letters, like writing the E in terms of three, or writing the L or I as one. Well, it is to some extent is a good practice, but then not gobble each word because this becomes guessable. It is, it is nowadays a common practice to gobble words. Few more tips 
that enable a strong password is that when you try to choose a password choose it so that you can remember easily don't make it too hard so that you keep on looking it every time you want to enter the password sometimes you may write it down somewhere writing it down somewhere will enable people to discover it so keep a password which is easy to remember but still very strong one of the best ways where people say that a password is less secure than a passphrase so try choosing a passphrase let's also see what are bad passwords bad passwords are passwords that are based on your personal information now what is your personal information your personal information is such as your name your nickname your birth date your wife's name your pet's name a friend's name your hometown your phone number maybe your social security number the car registration number the car you own your address this includes all about you this is your personal information some people also use part of their name or part of their birthday these are also your personal information also do not use passwords based on things located near you like you're sitting in front of a computer don't use computer as a password don't use the keyboard the telephone the printer they are all useless passwords they are easily guessable they are crackable so do not use passwords based on things located near you also don't be ever tempted to use one of those so common passwords that are easy to remember but offer no security example many people use password as their own password like the spelling of password this is the silliest thing to do or writing let me in as the password this is also very very common password easily guessable easily crackable these are not good passwords so what are good passwords so rather than you know passwords let me explain you what is a passphrase imagine this sentence you and me had the best burger and coke that day now if i take the first alphabet of each word in this sentence and write it down in capitals that becomes y a m h t b b a c t d which is you and me had the best burger and coke that day so if i use few symbols in place of few words here i can replace the and with the symbol and the symbol and is present in your keyboard over 7 press shift and press 7 together you will get the symbol and so if i remove you and me the and here i remove it and i place the symbol and then i move on and i say had the best burger and this and i replace with the symbol and coke that day this is a fairly complex password which has upper case characters and a symbol to make it more secure why don't we insert some lower case characters with a combination of few upper case characters some lower case characters and symbols so if i replace the b and t with the lower case characters the password now becomes including the symbol it becomes capital y symbol and capital m capital h small letter t small letter b again a small letter b symbol and capital c a small letter t and a capital d this has now further increased the security of the password and you don't have to find it every time looking for it to enter this password you know that you and me had the best burger and coke that day to go one step further you can replace the word that day with a date and use the numbers of that date in the password this way you know there was an event where you had the best burger and coke and you can use that as a password with a combination of upper case characters lower case characters symbol and numbers and this event is very personal to you except your friend nobody else knows when did you had the best burger and coke so this is not entirely about that event it is about creating a strong password with a passphrase moving on 
we should also keep in mind we should change these password at regular intervals in fact most websites tell you to change your password in a specific interval another thing here which i want to let you know is uh, you should also change your password when you think that somebody uh, might have guessed it somebody might have overlooked your shoulder and stole your password or you think that there was some illegal activity on your account which may lead to compromise on your data you must change your password immediately now this was all about knowing the basics of a strong password and then knowing that you should change your passwords regularly i think with all of this we should also protect our passwords in a very secure location protecting passwords is like protecting your own personal key to a locker where your valuable data information is kept so never store your password on your computer except in an encrypted form encryption as you know uses a special algorithm with a key to make it not crackable also note that the password cache that comes with windows the .pwl files is not secure so whenever windows prompts you to save password please please do not save it never show your password on computer in fact somewhere when somebody asks your password do not tell them do not even tell this to your system administrator also till now what we have learned we have learned about creating a strong password how to regularly change the password how to protect them now the major milestone major difficulty where many people face it is about remembering your password there are so many passwords and there are guidelines to not use it twice makes each password different from the other and like i said one may have on an average five username and password combinations so that makes it difficult to remember some and you have to change it almost every month so remembering passwords is always difficult and because of this many people are tempted to write them on bits of paper which is a very very bad idea what can one possibly do the simplest solution that comes to the mind is using a secure password manager in fact people will always question when we don't want to give it to anyone why should we give it to a software which is storing in its own database well in fact this is better to use a software password manager because they store it with encryption they remind you to change it monthly or the frequency you set and they don't keep it in plain text format in their own software which is storing it on a bit of paper moving on let us understand how would a potential hacker get hold of my password anyway what are the four simple ways in which hackers can get hold of your password and then eventually your account the first and foremost that is clearly notable is they will try to steal it from you stealing it means they will try to look over your shoulder when you type it or finding the paper where you wrote it down also when you suspect that somebody could be watching whether in a cyber cafe whether in your own office scenario or in your home please be wary that nobody is watching the second way in which a hacker can get your password is guessing it because people still today use passwords that are easily guessable because they use information that is very personal to them in fact it is researched very well and psychologists believe that most men use four letter obscenities as passwords and most women use the names of their boyfriends their husbands or children the third way in which a hacker can get hold of your password is going for a brute force attack 
a brute force attack is where every possible combination of letters, numbers and symbols is tried in an attempt to guess the password. To tell you mathematically, a Pentium 100 personal computer, you see a Pentium 100 computer dates back to more than 10 years. So a Pentium 100 personal computer might typically be able to try 200,000 combinations every second. This would mean that a six character password containing just upper and lower case characters could be guessed in only 27 and a half hours. That means just above a day. The fourth way is a dictionary attack. As the name suggests, it is more intelligent method than the brute force attack, wherein the combinations are first chosen from words available in a dictionary. Suppose your password contains a word, say, car. Car is a dictionary word. So the hacker tries the combinations of words available from a dictionary, whether English or a foreign dictionary. In fact, there are software tools available that can try each and every word in a dictionary or word list, in fact, or both, until your password is found. So these were the four ways in which passwords can be cracked or hacked and your personal information can be taken hold of, used maliciously, used against you, or used to commit a crime on your behalf, supposedly. So keep your password safe, secure, remember it, use a strong password manager. With this, we come to the end of this module. Thank you and a happy and safe browsing to you.